the reason I am against extradition to the United States of America is because the United States of America treats its prisoners in an inhuman manner. Uh, it has maximum security prison where people are kept in virtually solitary confinement. When even they do exercise, they do exercises in cages. And uh, the European Union does not want animals to be treated like that. Uh, uh, the, uh, even on farms, uh, cattle and horses here in the United Kingdom are treated far better than prisoners are treated in the United States. Uh, the appalling miscarriage of justice against black prisoners, against Hispanic prisoners and even against poor white Americans, it is appalling. And many people in the United States of America are kept on death row for up to 30 years, and that is a human. But the real reason that I am against anyone being extradited from this country or from any country to the United States of America is because the United States of America has not signed up to the International Criminal Court. And that means that uh, people from the United States Army or associated with the United States Army can commit crimes against humanity in different countries and none of them will be put on trial in any country because the United States of America will not extradite them to any other country but yet they expect every country to extradite its citizens to the United States of America. And uh, I was in the High Court here in... I was in the Court of Appeal here in London and I sat uh, through three days of uh, legal submissions by the team of lawyers for the five people who were extradited last Friday to the United States of America. And I do not believe that any of those people should have been extradited to the United States of America, irrespective of what crimes it is alleged they have committed. Uh, if, they should, uh, if they should be put on trial here in this country, then I think they should have been put on trial here in this country. That is if there was evidence. But then there was collusion between the British police and the American authorities. The British police, uh, as it was revealed in the Court of Appeal, they had information about some of the suspects, of the alleged suspects, and the, instead of passing that information to the British Director of Public Prosecutions, they passed that information to the United States authorities. So therefore, they withheld information that they had about the suspects. Uh, they, they withheld it from the British judicial system and instead they passed it on to the United States of America. And they're fully aware of the fact that the United States of America do not give proper uh, hearings to people who are put on trial there. I am also campaigning against extradition, against the extradition of Julian Assange, of Richard uh, O'Dreyer and also young McKinnon. I do not want these people extradited, uh, uh, Assange to Sweden or McKinnon and O'Dreyer to the United States. Now McKinnon and O'Dreyer are both British citizens and they have allegedly committed uh, what I would call computer crimes. They have hacked into computers in the United States of America and that is the only offence they have committed. Neither of them have ever been to the United States of America and they have not been involved with any organisation or anything associated with what is called terrorism. They have not been involved in any way and uh, I don't, if they are to be put on trial, it should be here in the United Kingdom and they should not be extradited to the United States of America. And also the European Extradition Treaty. I also want that reformed because the European Extradition Treaty uh, is being abused because people who commit minor crimes, even someone here from the United Kingdom could commit a uh, uh, become involved in a traffic offence in Portugal. Uh, and then they can be extradited 
to face trial for a minor traffic offence. And I believe that that is abuse of the European Extradition Treaty. And the European Extradition Treaty also wants to be reformed. And there should be no extradition with the United States until the United States signs up to the International Criminal Court and allows its citizens to be uh, put also on trial. And the United States uh, asks for special treatment for its own citizens. Because if you take in the case of Iran uh, during the Iraq, uh, during, the, uh, during the, the time that the Americans were in, for, in full collaboration with the Shah, they made special arrangements from the United States forces uh, in Iran and they even shot and murdered Iranian citizens. They made special arrangements which they called uh, uh, that they would not be affected by the laws of Iran. And they make the same thing for United States soldiers, whether they're in Iraq or Afghanistan or wherever they may be. And I don't think that this is acceptable either. Thank you.